Welcome back to a new interview exercise video. In this video, we are going to solve some Python Pandas data analysis interview questions. Let's start coding. So I'm going to be using VS Code, which is to do code in this video. You can use any code editor that you want to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this welcome page and then I'm going to open the Explorer and I'm going to create something like interview.ipmb. I want to go question by question. So I am going to work with a Jupyter Notebook also I need to add that in here so in here I'm going to select kernel Python environments 3.11.4 and at the first place I want to show the pandas version that I'm using right now like pandas version I'm using 2.0.3 and sometimes libraries can get updated and the codes can change so for having the codes that I will be writing in the video to work for you. You can install the same version by pip install pandas equals to 203. And for the Mac side, you can do pip3 install pandas 203 from the terminal. So, what we are going to do at the first place is I'm going to create a data frame. I created a sample data for my large language model, and I will say data frame is going to be pandas data frame and we will pass our data and here is how our data frame looks so in the video what i'm going to do is i will firstly paste the question in a markdown like i will do like question and i will write stuff like in here and then i'm going to read it what you can do is you can stop the video on there and try to solve this by yourself or you can watch me solve it it's up to you completely but if you to practice i recommend you to solving questions by yourself or at least trying it so we are going to both have medium and hard level questions and let's start so i'm going to be copying my first question right now so it is filter the data frame to show only the food items that have more than 250 calories display the result also, I'm going to be saving them into a new variable like I will say high calorie foods and for filtering we will say data frame then we are going to open brackets now we will select calories greater than 250 like this and now we can call the high calorie foods and here it is and let's continue with our next question so the next one is I'm going to paste it in here. Group the data frame by the category column and calculate the average calories and protein content for each category. So I will say data frame had two again for seeing the data frame. And now what we are going to do is we will say group data and it's going to be data frame group by, we are going to group by category and we will use that aggregation and we will say calories mean protein mean like this and this is going to be our code for this we are going to be grouping by the category and we are taking the mean of calories and protein and let's display our group data here it is okay let's continue with the next question so I'm going to be adding that add a new column to a data frame called healthy that contains a boolean value true or false set it to true for foods with less than 200 calories and false otherwise so for that what I'm going to do is I will say data frame healthy this is going to be our new column and it's going to be data frame calories less than 200 and it's going to return booleans let me quickly show you in a series format like you can see false 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 true true and we are setting this to a new column so when i make this run we can see that i'm going to call data frame i'm going to make this run and i'm going to call data frame again we are going to have the healthy column we wanted great so let's continue with the other question i'm going to be pasting it Suppose you have a new food item with missing data for calories and protein. Add this item to the data frame and then fill the missing values with the mean values for calories and protein. You can use my code 
or you can use random values for the food side and I will say like for the food side we will enter smoothie and for the category side we will use healthy and we are going to use them so let's do that I will say like new row and it's going to be pandas data frame we will say food is going to be smoothie and calories let's give them in a list format like this I will say smoothie and then I will say for the calories side I will do none like this single value and then for the protein side it's going to be none like this and then we will say category is going to be healthy and lastly healthy is going to be none and now let's check the new row we have this I'm going to use concat like data frame is going to be pandas concat and we will say data frame with new row and we are going to say ignore index true and now when I call the data frame we are going to have our new row with NA values so we can also check our NA values like we can call is NA and we will see that we have true true and true in here so what we are asked in the question we need to fill the missing values with the mean values for calories and protein and we need to update this by the way I made a typo so there is a problem like calories it needs to be like this and I will just say run all and now our problem will be fixed and when I call the data frame now it's clear so now we need to fill these values with mean and we need to update this column let's do that so for that we will do data frame calories and we will use fill and a method like this and we will give data frame calories that mean and if we just make this run we are going to have a new series so our data frame is not going to be updated so for it to be updated with the series like this we need to say in place occurs to true and then we are going to have our data frame updated in here so let's do the same operation for the protein side that fill an A and we will say data frame protein that mean and we will say in place equals to true so our data frame is ready right now now it's time to update the healthy column remember that we did like data frame calories less than 200 we are just going to set this again to data frame healthy and this is going to be our final solution for this question I will call data frame great so we have our data frame ready right now we handle with the missing values okay so our next question I'm going to be pasting it right here it is sort the data frame by protein in descending order and then by calories in descending order so what we are going to do is we will say sort data frame is going to be data frame sort values and we will say by we are going to sort it by protein and calories and then what I'm going to do is it's going to be ascending for the first one it's going to be false actually we need to give booleans and for the second one it's going to be true so when I call the sorted data frame we are going to have our data frame sorted great now next question create a pivot table from data frame that shows the average calories and protein content for each food category so let's do that we will say pivot table and it's going to be data frame pivot table the values are going to be both calories and protein and then the index is going to be category and aggregation function is going to be mean 
So our pivot table is going to be something like this. Here it is. Great. So pivot table values, color is a protein, index category, and aggregation function is mean. Great. Now our final question. I'm going to be pasting it in here. So it is create a new column called protein density, which is calculated as protein divided by calories. Use a lambda function to calculate this value. So let's do that. I will say data frame protein density and we will say data frame apply. We are going to use a lambda function as we asked. So we will say row row protein divided by row calories and we need to set axis as one so before running that let me show you what this returns so it returns a series like this and when we make this run our data frame is going to be in the format that we want i said last but we can solve some more questions let's create some more like i'm going to add another to our question set like it's identify all food items that have a high high protein content than 10 grams and belong to the fast food category display the result so what we are going to do is we will say high protein fast foods and it's going to be data frame data frame protein but since we are going to filter multiple conditions i will add brackets like this data frame protein greater than 10 and our second condition we will say data frame category accused to fast food like this and i will call high protein fast foods and here is our result great so when you are doing a multi-condition filtering don't forget to add parentheses like this now I'm going to be pasting the other question. It is calculate the total calories for all the food items in the data frame. Display the total calories. So total calories is going to be data frame calories. That's some. It's this easy. So I will call total calories and here is our result. Okay. We will go with our last question. So it is Update the category column to vegetarian for any food item that has less than 5 grams of protein. Display the updated data frame. Let's do that. We will say data frame log and we will say data frame protein less than 5 and we will pick the category from here and we will say vegetarian. Let me quickly check if we have any food like that on data frame, like protein too. Okay, we have salad in here. So when I make this one, we are going to have salad is going to be vegetarian from now on. It was healthy. Great, that was it. Thanks for watching. I'm sharing new data science video every week on my channel. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I also have an interview videos playlist which has more than 10 interview sets like this, you can check that playlist from the cards of this video. Let's get to the outro. Thanks for watching this interview exercise video. I have a playlist for interview exercises on Python, SQL and Pandas. You can reach that playlist from the cards of this video. Also, I'm sharing a new data science video every week on my channel. You can subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great day.